Hey guys, this is JoJo, back again with another story time video for you guys today. So for today's story time, I'm going to be talking about something that happened to me pretty recently. Today's story is about how a homeless man on my way to the mall tried to rob me on the train. Yeah, I know, that's quite an interesting thing that almost happened to me, and you're about to hear why. With that said, I hope you all enjoy this story time, and let's get on with the video. Now, before I tell this story, I think a quick disclaimer is extremely necessary for you all. I want to make it extremely clear to you all just in case someone watching this gets the wrong idea about me. I don't hate homeless people. This person that I'm talking about in this story time who so happens to be a homeless person is the only person that I'm talking about. Any jokes that I make throughout this video, if any, are for entertainment purposes only. I'm not trying to make fun of anyone out there that happens to be homeless right now. I have nothing against homeless people, and if I had the ability to help as many homeless people as possible, I would do so in a heartbeat. With that said, on to the video. So this story, once again, takes place pretty recently. My mom asked me to go pick up something from Party City, and I said, sure, no problem. So I get dressed, leave the house, and make my way to the train station. A few minutes later, the train finally arrives, I get on, and I'm on my way to Party City. Then another five minutes goes by. I see this random homeless person get on the same train section as me, and thankfully, he's sitting on at the opposite side of the train section, which is good. Now, to describe what this guy looked like. And listen, once again, I'm not trying to make fun of homeless people in, in general based on how they look. That's not the purpose of this video whatsoever. But just to give you guys a picture of what this guy looked like, he was wearing a giant winter coat, which is weird because, you know, we're literally almost in the summertime. So you would think that not wearing winter coat would be a good idea. But anyways, uh, he also wore this really old looking t-shirt and some jeans. He also wore one shoe on one foot and a large slipper on the other foot. I don't know why he was wearing one slipper on one foot and on the other foot he was wearing a sneaker at the exact same time. I honestly don't know. Oh, also, he had this very old looking book bag with him and that's important later on for the story. So anyways, another five minutes go by and at this time I still had like another 30 or so minutes before my stop came. And one thing that I forgot to mention to you all is that in the train section that I was on, it was just me, this random homeless guy, and also this random lady that was also sitting in the train section as well. And as soon as the lady gets off the train, because, well, I'm assuming it was her stop, this is where the story really kicks off. So as soon as the lady leaves, this random homeless guy starts walking towards me, and he sits right across from me. Then, literally out of nowhere, I'm not kidding, he pulls out a full container of milk from his book bag. Yeah, that's right. He pulled out a full container of milk out of his book bag, and he begins to drink it. Like, I'm being serious. He proceeds to drink the milk right in front of me. And bro, the smell coming from this guy's book bag was really awful. Like, I started gagging for about a minute straight because the smell coming from his bag was that bad. So this guy starts drinking the milk slowly right in front of me, and he's also, well, at the exact same time, making weird eye contact with me, which is such a weird and creepy thing to do. Like, seriously, imagine for a second that you went to a restaurant with your family or friends or whatever the case may be. So you're just sitting there trying to eat your food and just trying to have a good time. Then randomly out of nowhere, this guy sits right across from you eating or drinking something really weird and random that that you would normally not drink at a legitimate restaurant while at the exact same time making weird eye contact with you for a solid minute. That's how I felt at that moment. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that that would definitely creep you out or at the very least make you feel so uncomfortable. So anyways, this homeless person thankfully stops drinking the milk and puts it back inside his book bag. And I think to myself, okay, thank God that he stopped drinking that in front of me. Maybe I can finally start relaxing while on my way to party city. Well, unfortunately for me, that didn't happen because what happens next gets really crazy. So after this guy puts this disgusting milk back inside his bag, he opens up his mouth and asks me if I can give him some money. Now, as soon as he opened up his mouth, I could just feel the gross milk breath hit me square in the face and I started gagging up again. So much so to the point where I felt like my body was about to throw up. Now, I hate, and I mean hate, 
the feeling of throwing up. I don't care if hate is a strong word, I have a strong hatred for the feeling of just throwing up. It's one of the worst feelings to experience on the entire planet. Like seriously, if I had a choice to either get hit by a bus or experience throwing up, bring the bus right over! I don't care if there's a potential of me losing my legs, I would rather experience that than ever throwing up ever again in my entire life. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, obviously I wouldn't do that, that's an extremely dumb mindset to have, but seriously though, I hate throwing up with a burning passion. So after this homeless guy asked me for some money, I told him, I'm really sorry man, but I don't have any loose change or money on me to give to you, I'm really sorry. And I wasn't lying, like I didn't have any loose change or money on me at all whatsoever. And then this guy says back to me, bullshit. I know very well that you have money on you. Everyone has loose change on them. You're just trying to be selfish. Please give me some money. Then I said, look, I'm being extremely honest with you. I have no loose change on me whatsoever. Then he says back to me, yes, you do. Show me the money right now. And I'm like, dude, I don't have to show you anything. Once again, I have no money to give to you. Like, if I had loose change, I don't mind giving it to a random homeless person, right? Because I'm a very helpful person. I want to help people as much as I possibly can. And I proceed to just get up and walk away from him. And as soon as I start getting up, this homeless guy proceeds to do something really stupid and pretty crazy. This guy, no joke, proceeds to pull out a fucking pocket knife from his pocket and shouts to me saying, sit the fuck back down and pull out your wallet now. Now, this instantly took me by surprise, to which I said, look man, you don't have to do this. I'm being 100% serious with you. I really don't have any loose change to give to you. I'm really sorry about that. Please calm down. Then he says, I don't care. Give me your wallet now. And Thankfully, this random mother, and what I'm assuming is her daughter, gets on the same train section as me. Now, seeing this, the random homeless guy puts away his pocket knife and leaves the train. Then, once he gets off the train, he says out loud to me, I'm coming for you. And then the door closes, and the train starts moving again. All the while, this guy is continuing to make really creepy eye contact with me, which made me even more uncomfortable. So after this, I gave out a huge sigh of relief, and then the mother walks up to me and asked me if if I was okay. I said, yeah, I'm good. I mean, I almost got robbed by that guy, but you know, nothing bad happened to me. I'm completely fine. Then afterwards, I made it to my stop, went to Party City, picked up whatever it is that I needed to pick up, went back home, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And so far, I never saw that person ever again, or at the very least for now. I mean, who knows what might happen in the future? You never know. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the story time for you guys about how a random homeless person tried to rob me, even though I literally had no loose change on me, despite the fact that I've also stated multiple times that I didn't have any loose change on me. Moral of the story is, don't try to rob people for anything. Like seriously, please don't do that. I'm so thankful that nothing really bad happened to me, and even though what this homeless guy tried to do to me was really fucked up, I still feel a little bit sorry for him. I mean, you know, he's a random homeless person with nowhere to go, nowhere to stay, and nowhere to eat. Just overall going through a really hard time. Now, obviously, that doesn't justify trying to, you know, rob someone for their money. Now, hopefully, he does find somewhere to call home and, you know, not tries to randomly you know rob someone for money pretty much ever again and yeah that's all i have to say about that i hope you guys you know enjoyed this video if you did please drop a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more of my really dumb content a link to my instagram will be placed down in the description below if you guys want to check it out and with that said this is jojo signing out peace